Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Fab Fura Pro EQ and we are just going to do some basics. So here we go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like. It's going to help the channel to grow. Now here is my empty insert. So I'm just going to insert, go to my, you can go to your plugins where you you, you put your fab filter so i'm just gonna go to fab filter and i'm gonna load up fab filter pro q3 i have fab filter pro q2 it's the same thing so just uh let me just load up pro q3 once your pro eq opens up all you have to do is come to the display range button where you choose three different display ranges so just uh, make it simple go to 30 db and that is going to change then from there there are buttons that i want to show you there is q there is gain and there is frequency now the work of q is to control the bandwidth that you want to work on for example if you take it like this it means that all this frequency including this right here will be EQ'd so the moment you do this you are going to destroy the other frequencies or disturb the other frequencies because you are EQing too much so what you do during EQ when you are using the band or Q all you have to do is Q it to the specific frequency the specific area where you want to remove unnecessary frequency i'm coming to that i'll explain to you this knob is used to cue narrow it or expand it a little bit the problem is when you expand it too much it's really going to affect other frequencies so whenever you are using pro eq make sure you narrow it to the specific frequency where you want it to be i like it like this so that you can be able to uh, work on that specific frequency and basically this is the work of q now that we've discussed the work of the q next knob is the gain knob this one works as a frequency volume knob what do i mean by a frequency volume knob this controls your frequency increases your frequency or reduces your frequency for example this is uh a frequency which is uh 1000 in the range of 1000k so i'm going to increase it this is what it does when it, you increase the frequency this is not just a volume gain you remember the volume gain is used to increase your volume of instruments and all but this one is specifically the volume to increase or decrease frequencies this is how it sounds like when you decrease the frequency So the decreasing of frequency simply means you want to control the frequency. Maybe that frequency is just too high or too harsh. For example, let me take it to a harsh frequency. Like this type of frequency can really disturb your ears. To stop this frequency from destroying your ears, you can use the gain the volume for the frequency and just work on that frequency remember you killed it using this you narrowed it using this you made it smaller you didn't make it big you made it smaller so you just want to decrease the volume for this certain frequency which is making a lot of noise to your ears and this can actually damage your ears so to stop this from damaging your ears all you have to do is use the gain so we are gonna reduce the frequency volume for this specific frequency area which is around 1k 1k is 1000 here we go So as you can see, I have used the gain knob to reduce that frequency a little bit and actually the strings now sound warmer and better. They are not sounding too sharp. The next one is the frequency, the frequency knob. This one is used to search frequencies. For example, uh, let me just increase, just increase the frequency volume and here we go. The 
work of the frequency knob is to search for those unwanted frequencies and once you find those frequencies or to center those frequencies or to bring them where they're supposed to be so this is a searching knob i call this a searching knob where you search once you listen to a certain frequency which is not working out then you stop right there and then you use your make sure you watch the other video on how to eq properly i'll see you in the next one